Here we have a scenario where you have you are given two angles in one side of a triangle, but you're drawn no picture. And I'm asking you to solve all of the missing features of this triangle. And not only that, I want to know if there is a second triangle possible. See this area down here? That's for the ambiguous case if you think there is a second triangle that exists. All right, so your first job is to just examine what you're given up here and categorize what type of problem we're dealing with. First of all, um, you should decide whether you're using law of sines or law of cosines. Now, because there are two angles, that's going to tell us a lot, and this problem becomes quick. Okay, When you have two angles, that means two things. One, we're using law of sines. And the, two, the second thing is, there's only one triangle possible. There's never going to be ambiguous cases with two angles. Also, you never have to worry about there being a D and E triangle. That's really nice. So you just proceed with your you know, normal law of sine stuff. I'm given two angles. How do I find the, the third angle, right? Angle C is just going to be 180 degrees minus angle A minus angle B. So for this one, what is that? Calculator says 107.5 degrees. Okay, so you would just put that in there. Second thing we need to do is find some of these missing sides, okay? In particular, A and B. I don't care which one you do first. Either one works because we know all of these other angles, right? We're given B is 22.35 degrees, and we're given A is 50.13 degrees. All right, I don't even need the degree symbols on there. The computer doesn't care about that. So what do we do? We just use the law of sines, and I think in the form where you have your sines on the bottom, right? A over sine A equals, shall we do, what do we know? We know C. Okay, that's going to be helpful. We know C is 4.83. So we'll say C over sine C. And hopefully you can see why I chose those particular numbers. In this setup right here, what's known? I know sine of A. I know sine of C. I know side C. All I am missing is the small a, the side we call a. So that's going to be equal to a equals c times sine of a divided by sine of c, which if you work this out is going to be uh, 4.83 times the sine of 50.13 degrees. Put that into your calculator. Divided by the sine of 107.5 degrees. Okay. And calculator says, if you crunch that through, just to check that you're doing your math right, you should be getting A equals about 3.89. Okay? So that's how you solve for A. You would solve for B in a very similar way. I'm not going to go through that.